You should do stand up. Actually, I dreamed that I was doing stand up maybe Friday or Saturday night. And the only thing I remember was like telling the worst joke of all time about how, like, have you seen all these rectangular juice containers? You, how are you supposed to get the liquid out of the bottom of the container when there's corners? And, like, the audience was killing themselves laughing. You know how, like, when you wake up from a dream for, like, half a second, you have a dream hangover where you're like, that was real? I had the dream hangover, but I was like, holy cow, I gotta write that one down. I honestly think that's gold. And then I, like, brushed my teeth, and after that, I was like, this joke doesn't even make any sense. Like, <laughs> it's... Just, why are they... Is that even a problem in society? Have you been walking around and been like, oh, there's too much juice in rectangular containers now? Like, all the juice gets stuck in the corners? It's like when I was complaining about how, oh, peanut butter manufacturers are so stupid. Why do they make the jars so big so, you, like, your knife doesn't actually hit the bottom of them so your hand always gets covered in peanut butter? And then someone was like, you know, they, sm they sell smaller jars. And I was like, all right. I guess, in that case, I rescind my point. Honestly, that's a, I guess, I've, and I've even, I've seen the smaller jars at the grocery store, so, fair enough. You got me on that one. I didn't really consider buying the smaller jars just because I've never bought them before, but. The juice joke is a 10 out of 10? What are you talking about? It doesn't even make, it has no, there's no punchline. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it, it's good. It's, it, the joke is so bad. The corners, though? Yeah, I know. I mean, okay, maybe it's, maybe it's good. Maybe, maybe there's something to that. And then at the end of the joke, you just throw in it's morbing time. Okay, yeah, 